Hi folks welcome to this video. In this video we are going to teach you basic web GIS using a good QGIS plugin. For those who are not familiar with web GIS, web GIS involves using the World Wide Web to facilitate GIS tasks traditionally done on a desktop computer, as well as enabling the sharing of maps and spatial data. To get started, firstly you need to load a Google image or OSM or any other image into QGIS. We have already recorded a video on how to download and install this plugin. You can refer to that video if you haven't seen that before, we've put its link in the description for you. Using this tool, you'll be able to import any image you may want to. Here we select the Google satellite images. You have to have the shape file layers of your area, then select all the layers you want to display on the web and import them into the software one by one. You can either drag and drop or double click on them. Here we select some layers of a city. By clicking on the left icons or shapes beside the imported layers you can customize the symbology of each layer to make them seem clearer and more distinguishable. After getting through with the symbology and choosing the appropriate symbology for each layer, we go to the plugin section of the software. Here we select the manage and install plugins option. In the open window, we search for the QGIS to web plugin. Click on the desired plugin. Here the plugin specification is displayed. As written, it's a QGIS plugin to export your project to an open layers or leaflet web map. It replicates as many aspects of the project as it can, including layers, extent and styles, including categorized and graduated. No server side required. So click on the install plugin option to complete the installation. As soon as the installation completed, the plugin icon appears in the software. As you can see, the plugin icon in the software turns on and off. Click on the added icon which is create web map. You can make the desired settings in the export to web map window. All layers are displayed in this section. Display settings of each layer need to be done here. You can also display the fields of each layer as an inline label or as a header label. We display all layers as inline labels. You can make each layer visible. When you click on each layer, the fields are displayed as inline labels in the open window. There is a cluster option in point layers, which are grouped together using this option, we turn them on. There are some settings in appearance as well. You can activate the add address search option so that you can search. The next option is add layer list, which has two modes, collapsed and expanded. 
Here we select the collapsed option. In general, the web map can be displayed in two ways. Open layers and leaflet. In the right window, you can see the output of the two methods. They have a series of differences. Since we've selected the cluster mode for the points layer, here by zooming out the points are transformed into close classes. You can select the highlight on hover option. Here it searches the layers based on attribute. There is a CRS match project that you should not check here. You can also activate the measure tool and set the type of measurement based on metric. You can choose the template based on full screen. and select the extent using two methods, canvas extent and fit to layers extent. You can also adjust the zoom. In the export section, you can specify the output. Choose a specific path to save the final file so that all files are saved in that path. Click update to preview to display the final output for you. Here the map does not match the image. The reason of that is turning on the match project CRS option. We turn off the tick of this option. Here you can see that the layers are in their right place. You can use the help section to learn better. To display, you need to export. Here our web map is activated and is displayed in the browser. You can see the layers here. Zoom in and zoom out on the layers. By clicking on each layer, the attribute table of that layer will be displayed. Turn layers on and off. or measure the distance. For this purpose, we use the measure tool.
and finally get the output based on leaflet. You can see the layers here too. and the layer of points which are clustered. Go to the folder where you've saved the web map outputs. Here it is clear that the output exported twice and has been saved in two folders. Click on the Chrome file. And the web map is displayed. If you share this folder with other people, they can easily have the web map without any complicated settings.